So who are we rooting for? All right, I'm rooting for Jake. I'm rooting for Shaz. See, uh, nothing against Shaz. They, ch they pick the right colors. Yes. Yeah. All right, so they match their shirts. Jordy is orange, Shaz is blue, and let's see who the winner of Climb Cancel is going to be. I'm a big underdog kind of guy, so I'm hoping Jake gets this win. Oh no, there can only be two winners of Catherine, and it's Dasa from Shaz. Jake is opting for the similar build again on Cathedral. It's a farmer's build. Shaz knows he has to cross over. He's often destroyed a lot of the stages. Oh, here we go. He got a block. He got rid of his entire side, so I'm wondering what's going to happen later See, Jake on. Jake has to interact with him right oh, now. Oh, oh. Oh, this is not good. All right, Jake just automatically gives up. He doesn't want to put himself in a box. I know that Shaz is very, very nervous going against his training partner, Jake. Jordy over here. Oh, and an early X factor Jordy gets. Oh, but cancels it out with a block. Oh, interesting option from Shaz. He did not take this the pin. pin. And it's an but orange pin, which is a little harder to do. Oh, no. He knows what he has to do. Oh, Let's he had go. a block. Now can he do the count? Think oh. He started at the wrong time, unfortunately, because he created the block at just a little too late. He could have had it, though. He could have had it. I don't think he realized he had a block until that last moment. I, I, think I so was too. expecting an eight count from him, but right. he tried to go for the full nine. Oh, man. Round one. Ready? And they're my going heart, back. Oh, my heart is they're pumping. Going back to Cathedral. <laughs> this is their favorite, though. That is. Jordy. Jordy just opting for that same build again. Farmer's like opener. There we go. He gets an X Factor. Same will block he use her? Spawn last time. Yeah, will he use her wisely? Going over to the next, to the other side to use that X Factor is really, really important when you have a confident player like Shaz. Um, you know, as your opponent, because then you get to kind of minimize the contact that you have, you get a little bit more of a lead. And that was a great response from Jordy. Just making the climb just a little difficult for Shaz right now. Now Shaz is one of the strongest climbers I've ever seen. So I'm curious to see um, how Jordy adapted to that being his training partner. I think he adapted really well. Me and Sig oh. were just saying he, his speed has gotten a lot faster. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. oh He's no. Trying to Shaz is in something. He's doing something. Shaz is trying to destroy a lot of stage and try to create a shake scenario where Jake falls. Ooh, this is all Shaz right now. Oh. Jake has to find another solve. There it is. Oh, no. They're going to share space. No, they're not. And here comes Shaz. Oh, no. Oh, Look, my God. This is such a crazy match right now. The footsies oh. are unreal. Jordy's still got it. Jordy has been keeping his patience and cool. He's got the three C's right now. Calm, cool, and collective. Look at the concentration in these two players. They're doing the same builds. I know. It's so interesting. Like, I guess they just feel really comfortable playing it like this. The anticipation. Chaz really likes getting rid of his half of the stage, so he can worry about the interactions he'll have with Jordy later on. He's gonna make a fight happen. And that was the, the better option, honestly, because no matter what Shaz does, he's gonna end up falling on the right path. Oh, oh! oh. And a sweet, sweet pin by our boy Shaz. Now, is he going to selfie? I don't think so. I don't think so, but he should, as Blue. She, he no. has enough time. He's too intense. He's too enthralled by this game. That is his soul. His, his soul good. is being happening yeah. today. Yeah. If you can see the foot tap that Jordy's doing, it's something special. Yeah. Yeah. Opting for the same builds again. Uh, Shaz is slightly changing it up. Oh, we got some big brain over here. Oh, he should have just climbed after that hit. 
climb. There we go. And just keep climbing. That's no, that's done. I have noticed about Jordy. Jordy does not exploit items the way that Shaz does. Here it comes. The goal is almost there. All right. He's gonna bridge this block over. I just create a mini paradise over there for Shaz. Put him in a box. Good option for Jordy. Ooh, he almost got crushed by a block. Oh, Shaz. And that is all Jordy needed right now, just that real push like that. He's just going to keep climbing now. Uh, yep, the goal is on the left-hand side. Oh, my God. Good hit. Oh, my God. Perfect timing. Oh, takes the and Jordy takes that. He makes it to the top of Cathedral. And you don't get to see that so often. You never get to see the top of Cathedral. Not in tournament. No way. Not in grand finals. It's pretty impressive right now. Ooh, that was that was quite a shimmy at the end. Yeah, I wonder what the counter pick is going to be. Are they going to go Imperio? It only makes sense being they were in climb cancel. I kind of want to see uh, torture chamber. True, that'd be a good stage too. There's a lot of really good kills that I can see them really getting the wins for. But yeah, Imperio would be the best. So Imperio, um, for everybody watching, is usually an illegal stage. Um, oh. Angle. I was not expecting that from East Coast. Yeah. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense because both of them do like to climb, right? So it, it's a bit of a climber stage. It's not really a lot of fights in it unless you turn it into a fight. And I, I don't mean, think they're going to. Oh yeah. So I don't think it's in their heart. They're gonna, they're gonna do dividable tower. Oh, All right. Oh no. no. Nope. There we go. Early fight. Look at that. I think Shaz is ready to prove, prove he's more than just a climber at, at climb cancel. Oh, that block right there is very important. They have a lot of options to go up. And these reeds. Oh, man. Oh, he should have climbed oh. on the dark block after that. Oh. There you go. Oh, he gave oh. the path. Oh, no. Oh. Good push. Great. Jordy is just keeping his cool again. You can't see me right now. I am actually cringing. <laughs> she is. She's literally was, just flipping out. There was so much going on. I'm so stressed just by watching this game. And we're seeing so many pins. Chaz finally takes out his phone for future pins. For he's future expecting pins. Yes, he's got another pins. one under his sleeve, he says. Round two, ready? Are we going to see him break the stage? No. Both of them are opting for the similar build where uh, Jake knows he kind of has to have a distance from Jake, I mean from Shaz, but Shaz understands that he needs to close the distance. All right, Jordy. Some good defense by Shaz, exploiting that the ice blocks slide all the way across to the other side. He almost surfed that one there. Good option from Jordy. Jordy's really holding that defense. Shaz pushes out a block out of frustration, I believe. Oh, Great option there from we Shaz. Go. I was wondering when that was going to happen. Big push, and Jordy gets Big left behind. Big brain moment, honestly. Big brain. He just like, I'm going to put a block right here and just dive for you. You're sidling for just a little too long. And something that Chaz does a lot of, he farms for items all the time. Yeah, he does. He likes to use his options. He can't do that here. Yeah. He's trying to really prove himself. Winning on Australia's stage. All right, so now what's going to happen is... I knew it. Oh, Jake yes, the boys. To. He is the emperor of Imperial Sorry. Them boys. Yes. These East Coasters are really trying to get Imperio as a legal <laughs> stage, and I don't know if it's going to be worth it, but let's see how hyped this match can get. All right. Ready? Look at all these mouths. But who are they cheering for? All right. Jake is faster. Got there first. I mean, Chaz. Good double in Azuma by Jordy, giving himself a lot of options here. I'm waiting for this mouth block to move, but... An Ooh. early X Factor, but the stage didn't want to see it. Oh. Almost a crazy option. Oh, here we go. Good defense by Shaz. He's being very, very patient, using his X Factor. 
Oof. Oh. 3D climbing over here. I guess 3D violence. Oh. Things this are gonna get really weird. Oh, oh god. We already did oh! That's not oh. what. Alright. Yeah. We have a draw just, on Imperio. Yeah, Shaz just gave him a draw. I believe he had the win, Shaz, if he just would have kept climbing. Jordy was trying to pull that block. I think he just like, hit the buttons a little too fast. Oh. There you go. That's what he needed so he can take this opportunity to finally get a climb. Oh, no. And Shaz is off. making sure to use that block of defense, but it wasn't quick enough. Nice combo from Jordy taking those easy climbs right now. He's the RNG in his favor. This is why we call he him the Emperor. He's taking advantage of this RNG that he's getting. Yes, yeah, so this is why he's the Emperor. The RNG is always in his favor. We have seen him literally step on a random block, which is the one you see right in front of him. You saw how he patiently waited for a moment and it didn't give him a spike block. This game loves him on this stage, and it will never spawn a spike block. Not for Jordy. Everyone else. Yep, I died from a snipe spike block in tournament. Great slow block, and oh, he takes no. the win. There we go. Player two. Jordy's proven. Yes, he's going to come back with his Imperial pick. Now, both of these two uh, players have definitely had the most experience on Imperio. So I was really, really curious to see how these interactions are going. Great block from Chez. Awesome. Oh! Well timed. Got the Is that the first one of the tournament? That's actually the second one. Okay. Ooh. Second one. So, for those of you watching, what just happened, there is a glitch in the game where if your opponent is running away from you um, at a single block um, away, you can actually throw a block and it automatically kills your opponent because it takes up their hitbox. Yeah, so technically it's um, the hurtbox of the sheep is being, Ooh. it's in two places. And he's able to punish him for that. Very intense moment here for Jordy. Shaz is in a good spot. Yes, now he I'm is. worried. Do you see how many mouth blocks move forward? This is actually helping Shaz in this tournament. <laughs> Usually it, it helps uh, Mr. Jake. Now, with these mouth blocks, too, if you don't kill them, they can't move in different directions. And actually, the tongue can lick you off of that level. Yes, it can. We're getting a little bit of lag just because a lot of blocks are being moved and a lot of blocks are being created. Oh, man. But the fight oh. here is very real. Oh. oh, oh. And the, no! that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. And again, you saw the that? wave, Jordy. He, he steps on the random block and it turns into a cracked block as he's creating a block, not a spike God. block. This stage loves Jordy. Oh, He is the emperor. God. Look at Shaz's Look at face. It. Look at that face right now. He he's has to nervous. take part. Shaz is nervous. I have not seen him like this since probably Frosty Fausting's upset. All right, let's see what happens here. Both of them wearing the beautiful Climb Cancel shirts that they designed. If you guys are interested in getting that, they're available right now on Teesprings. And it's gonna be Underground Cemetery. It, it means they're cutting out all the crap. Nope. This is straight to business. This is right it. Now. It's 2-2. Like, two, two. It's down to the last and on match. And underground cemetery, no Ooh, less. So man. every move matters. We are going to see some Round fights. Ready? I'm excited. I'm so excited for fights. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, man. All right, Shaz is already kind of thinking about destroying the map. It looks like. My heart is racing for these two, these two nice. best friends. Over here. Over oh, here. some good defense by Jordy. Shaz makes sure he has some climbing options, though. Shaz doesn't want anything to do with it right now. He splits it. Oh, great, great block. Oh, man. Shaz is just keeping... Smart climbs. Yes. Oh, man. 
Oh, there, that's the <laughs> right there. Oh, but Shaz, and Shaz breakaway breaks speed. Breaks away. Player one. Round two, ready? Go. Player two, we're running out of time. Oh my God. Great and decision from Jordy. Chaz, this is one pull away. Chaz oh, wants to destroy some of the saves, but he got an X Factor, so now it changes his whole plan. This is dangerous. This is a fragile, fragile stage. Wow. The, all oh, and the catch up. Serves you right. Jordy has a great block right now, so if he does hit Chaz, he can create the block on him. We'll see if it happens and get another squish going. Oh, oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! Good Save drop kick by Jordy. Just when he got the X And it's dude. down to the last round. This is, gonna, this is it, guys. Oh, man. They're, you are so intense. Right, they are not going to split this. Oh, Chaz is definitely thinking about destroying the stage again. Oh, man. He's like teasing him with that option. He's like, I'm going to destroy it, and then change his mind. He's making Jordy think about every single move that he's making in this round. He is playing very toxic. I have not seen this from Shaz at in a while. Oh, an X Factor. Oh, oh Shaz did not need that. Getting greedy with that X Factor. Now, can this he is, make it worth it? This may be the winning, the, the determining win right here. Is this worth it? There's the combo. There we go. And there Shaz we go. wins. We Congratulations, have Shaz. Our climb cancel champion. And no one is more deserving than this warm hearted, beautiful boy. He's the host of climb cancel himself. Oh, he is everything we wanted. He's getting congratulations. His glasses just, just ripped off his face.